What is up fam? It's your girl MTG and it's here coming back at you with another sometimes vlog. Now today is kind of an added on video to the video from the other day. Now more things are changing. Um, I've made some other decisions that actually really affected me and are affecting me still and will affect me this whole year because it's gonna be a lot different than I am used to. So, here it goes. But before we start that, I'm only wearing this hat because my hair looks like poop today and um, I'm not wearing any pants, so that's lit. But I'm in my dorm room, I'm just chilling, so I don't need to wear pants to be a YouTuber. All right, if you're new here or if you're old here and you still haven't done it yet, which you're sleeping on me, fam, let's get it, let's get subscribed. Um, please do that, subscribe. It's the little red bar right below my name, MT Jans is right here. Once you do that, a little gray bell's gonna pop up. You're gonna wanna click that to get notified every single time that I post, slash upload, and such like that. So, let's get into the video. So. I am making this video um, to kind of explain my decision that I made yesterday, which was Saturday, um, August something teen, and I made a very difficult decision um, to make for me personally, because it's something I love, and um, cherish and I had to make the decision to not do it anymore and that that was marching band um, I quit marching band yesterday and not so much as quit as decided to end that part of my life um, I quit marching band because of this upcoming year and I will tell you why okay so um a lot of you may be confused as to why I quit marching band because if you know me you know I freaking love marching band I still do it literally has been a freaking awesome thing in my life like literally ever since middle school um, as soon as I hit 6th grade, I cannot wait to march. Um, we got to march in 8th grade with the high schoolers, and then in high school, I finally got to be on the drum line, which was dope. Um, it is, honestly, if you've ever been in marching band and you liked it, um, or you found your love for marching band, you understand what I'm saying. Marching band is something that's not like anything else. Um, and the first thing that makes it something like that, anything else, these kids and people and, you know, uh, musicians, they become your family. Um, in high school, we had a marching band that ranged from like 70 to about 85 um, while I was there. And we were a family. Like, it was high school and like whatever, but like, the drum line and a lot of the rest of the band were like my best friends. They got me through high school, they, you know, they made me the person I am today and um, at the end of high school, like I wouldn't have chosen anything else to be a part of um, in my life. Um, being a section leader, uh, my fan just fell um, out of the window. I'm just gonna ignore it. but. Yeah, drumline was my family. Drumline's my family in college. Literally, my closest friends are all in the drumline. Like, we are a family. We call it a flamily because if you know anything about, you know, drums, um, you know what a flam is. But I don't want to explain it because I don't want to make this video 10 minutes long. But <clears throat> Marching Man's amazing. It literally made me who I am today. Um, it really shapes who you are. It shapes your character. It helps you to you know, be more responsible, um, it helps you with time management and efficiency and like following directions, stuff like that. Marching band is very important and for any high school that is taking marching band out of um, their uh, district, please reconsider because the arts are 
essential to life. Um, there's nothing you can do that isn't connected to the arts in some way. So, yeah, please stop defunding art programs in high schools. That'd be lit. Anyway, um, obviously, now that I've established that I love marching band, here is why I had to... I didn't have to. Here's why I decided um, to close that chapter of my book. Recently, like last year, if you were... If um, you were close to me in college, you knew how much stress I was under. I was getting between two and four hours of sleep a night for literally months. Um, I have a job that requires me to work overnight, and I also had a lot of credits, a lot of classes, and a lot of things to do. And um, <clears throat> I would go to marching band and it wasn't marching band's fault at all. It was just me being st a stressed out individual and I would not be having the best time because I would be exhausted. And part of that I took out on my fellow drumline members, um, which I apologized for at the time. Um, I would just either be like super crabby and angry or like just crying the whole time because I was just literally exhausted beyond belief. Um, and Last year was also like the best time I had in marching band. I had more fun in marching band last year than I think I've ever had um, in marching band. And part of that was because of the people, part of that was because of the music, part of that was because of Miami. Um, if you don't know about Miami, I made a video about it, please go check that out. And um, you know, it. I love it, but it's two hours out of every day and my Saturdays and you know this year I have I have less credits but I have two jobs now and um, I just changed my major um, I'm still majoring in music but it's a bachelor's of science in music instead of music education um, you know I changed my major I'm signing a minor in something I've never done before you know I'm taking an acting class this semester which I'm super excited about oh my gosh I can't even explain how excited I am I've always wanted to take acting classes and um, do stuff like that get into the entertainment business which I mean this is kind of that but I do want this channel to grow and stuff but like I said my life is changing dramatically and I think that with everything that's changing and with everything that's going on in my life right now, um, adding Marching Man onto that, even like no matter how much I love it and enjoy it and it's been a part of my life, I think that um, it was the right decision to think about it, take into account how much stress I was under last year, and really make the decision for not only my academic side, um, but also my mental health. Um, I, you know, I need to be healthy and I need to be happy. And um, Marching Man makes me happy, but I'm not the healthiest. Um, so I think that uh, taking that little sliver of extra stress out of my day was important for this year. Um, like I said, many times my life is changing and I just need some I needed something else to give me a little extra cushion um, with my stress and everything that I'm doing that being said I'm not like going crazy I'm not like crying all the time or anything like that I'm just I'm just a stressed broke college kid that I just I'm trying to get my shit together and um, I think that not doing marching man and just being able to you know, appreciate it for what it's worth and um, stuff like that. I think that this decision was really important to um, me and the rest of my college experience. Um, that being said, I am sad about not getting alumni status. I'm really hoping to play with them for the homecoming game, but who knows, maybe, you know, a couple weeks from now, I will change my mind. But right now, I think this is the best decision for me. <coughs> and everything like that. And I know I said I didn't want this to be a 10 minute video, but I'm running on 9 minutes and 55 seconds, so there you go. If you, um, if you are 
if you know me, if you have my number, if you're friends with me on Facebook or whatever, and you want to know more about this, I know like a lot of people are shocked and confused, and I got a lot, a lot, a lot of phone calls yesterday um, after telling people that I had quit because, like I said, I'm the drumline girl. Like I love drumline and marching band, and it's like my heart. It gives me that fire, but I know that even if I'm watching from the stands, I'll still appreciate it and love it as much, um, you know, as I did. Maybe I'll appreciate it and love it as love it even more, you know, because um, that part of my life has left a little bit. So before I get sad about leaving marching band again, because I, I mean, I'm very, I'm still sad. Yesterday I was very upset about it because you know as much as I needed to you know kind of quit and not be a part of it this year it was it's a devastating thing to let go of one of <clears throat> the things that you have loved the most in the last eight years you know so that is why I quit marching band that is some more stuff that's been going on in my life um, the main reason is it will take some of that extra stress off the top of my schedule and um, I really want to thank all of my friends that are supporting me in this decision and supporting me in all my life choices this year there's been a lot I've changed so many things so far and the school year hasn't even started but I really really love and appreciate all of you guys who are supporting me and who are um, loving me no matter what it means the world to me and I'm very excited to start the school year. Um, my life is going to be drastically different, and I don't know what's going to happen, but we will see. And the key to life changes is to always stay positive. Don't worry about what anyone else thinks of you. As long as you know you're doing right by yourself, that is all that matters. You have to be kind to people, be kind to yourself, and strive for success. Wake up every morning, look in the mirror doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl tell yourself I am beautiful today is gonna be a good day I'm smart I am successful and that is how you want to start your day and start your life because um, kindness and positivity are the keys to good relationships being successful you know networking stuff like that if you have a job that you are striving to be and you need to put yourself out there be kind to people you know introduce yourself shake hands um, smile make eye contact firm handshake make sure you have a good handshake because nobody wants you know one of these just like meh. so anyway now that this video is 13 minutes I'm gonna let you guys get back to your day thank you so much for watching Jans fam we are 66 strong we got another subscriber that's lit thank you to whoever that was um, I really appreciate it Remember to watch my ads, that really helps me out a lot. And like this video if you liked it. Shoot me a comment if you have any more questions about my life pertaining to marching band, pertaining to my major change, stuff like that. And don't forget to come back next time when you get that notification if you click the little gray bell to see more of me, MT Jans. I'm going to be doing vlogs more, especially now because I have a little bit more time. Um, I really want to set this channel off and I think this year is a good time to do it. So. Let's get it popping. Share these videos, you know. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your second cousin twice removed, Jerry, that you've only seen once in your life. And have a good day, fam. Love you guys. Peace.